my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home. And here on my channel, I share all things simple living, affordable decorating, and thrifting. And in today's video, we are continuing on with more spring decor content. So in today's video, we are going to be focusing on the kitchen. As you can see, I am in my kitchen. We are going to be decorating it for spring very simply. As you guys know, I do love a more less is more approach when it comes to decorating my home always have always will that is just my thing so i truly think like making statements with one or two things here and there in a room is just truly so beautiful and it just i don't know it just speaks to me so we're going to be doing that here in the kitchen but we're also going to be looking at a home decor subscription box i've actually shared this in a few of my other videos in the past it is called habitation box and the month of april is such a beautiful box there are so many pretty pieces in here so i can't wait to show you what we have in the box and then we're going to be styling some of those here in my kitchen as well so a lot to cover today i'm super excited to share this with you guys i have been loving all of the spring decorating it just feels so fresh i'm actually have my windows open today when i'm filming this video and it's just so relaxing to me so before we get started i do want to mention you guys probably see this here in the background um we got a new sink which is so nice we got a new farmhouse sink we have been wanting one for quite some time now and we finally got one so i am loving it it looks so pretty it makes the kitchen feel so much brighter and bigger and it just makes a huge statement so again with the lesson is more concept um if you are looking to upgrade your kitchen in some way shape or form maybe think about a sink because i know for us personally it made a huge difference but anyway enough about that let's go ahead and start looking at this home decor now okay so like i had mentioned there are very beautiful pieces in this box the first thing i want to show you guys are these baskets here so it came with two baskets there is a small one and a large one as you guys can see they do have handles on the top so it's just a wicker basket. And what's really nice about these is that they are lined. So you can put real plants in here. You can put herbs in here if you wanted to. You can hang these inside your house. You can put them outside because again, they are lined. So if you water your plants or anything like that um, outside, then you're not gonna have an issue when it comes to like leaking and all the things. So anyway, I think that these are super pretty. This is kind of like a gray wash as you guys can tell there. And it's just really pretty. I love that there's two different sizes. So if you wanted to like stagger these on the wall or something like that and kind of make a little statement that way, I think that would be very pretty. But again, you could do real plants, you can do herbs in here, you can do faux plants, which is probably what I would do if I kept them inside. But nonetheless, these are really good pieces. Okay, the next item is this little, kind of like a bird bath. So it is metal. And as you guys can see here, it is distressed. It's super cute. And I think that this would be so cute if you wanted to keep in the kitchen specifically i think that this would be so cute next to the sink with soap on it or you could even do a candle or anything like that but i think this is really sweet for spring loving the little birds here and this is so cute so one of the things that i do want to mention about habitation box they do have a sticker on the box like whenever you open it you can scan it with your phone and it will take you to the website and will show you tons of ways to style these specific pieces in the box which is so cool so anyway like i said for here i would use it for like soap and stuff in my kitchen but definitely if you end up getting a habitation box scan that code and you'll have tons of other options on how to style this but i just think that this is so sweet and definitely a cute piece for spring Wait, okay, next up is a little wreath so these you can't go wrong with these they go well in pretty much any home decor style pretty well anywhere in your home you can do a candle in here you can hang this on like the side of um some like kitchen hooks or something like that you could even put this around like your soap if you wanted to next to the sink i'll show you what i'm thinking so you can do something like this which would be kind of cute to kind of like elevate a little soap dispenser, especially if the dispenser is kind of like an aesthetically pleasing looking one. I think it'd be super cute. So definitely multiple ways you can use this and greenery, you can't go wrong with it. Always something you can do with it and somewhere to put it in your home. Next up in the box is this cute little wooden bead, like kind of like a garland. So it just have the jute material at the bottom and then the wooden distressed beads. This is really cute to put around like vases or bottles or something like that. Here in my kitchen, I think I would probably hang it on the side of my kitchen cabinets, like on those hooks I just mentioned. And just to add like some texture and some more like pop of color, because my kitchen is fairly dark. The sink definitely brightened it up a lot. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell or not based off of me filming today, but typically my kitchen is super dark, like I mentioned, and we added new can lights in, so now it just feels so much brighter. But adding these white elements and like lighter colors definitely helps too. And I think that this one is a really cute piece and you can use this pretty well anywhere in your home. Style this on top of books, around a candle, anything like that. 
Next up is a really, really nice box. So this is a little wooden box. As you guys can see, it has the buckle there. It does have like some wood like beading detail on the top and this is glass. So you can use this multiple ways. You can use it for jewelry. You can use it in a bathroom with like cotton balls, Q-tips, different things like that. For the kitchen, I thought that this would be really pretty to use if you had like a coffee station or like just a drink area in general. You can put like tea bags in here. You can do like Keurig pods, anything like that. But I think that this is really pretty and definitely a great piece to um, use as storage and very like just pretty and aesthetically pleasing in general. So this would be really neat to use in multiple ways, but this is definitely good quality and I really like this box. Last but not least, this is probably my favorite piece in the box. You guys know that I love those like earth tones and just all the earthy things here in my house, but this picture is so beautiful. So it is pretty large as you guys can tell like compared to my head, um, but it is kind of like, I don't even know what this feels like. It's it's a textured like background, it's really neat. And then it has this like herb or kind of like floral print on there, which I think is so pretty. And it's just in a wooden like white distressed frame, but it has the hooks on the back so you can just easily hang that up there on the wall or you can even like prop it up against if um, you had like a larger space or something like that. You can prop this up against the wall or on a fireplace mantle, anything like that. But I think that this is just really, really neat. I've never seen one quite like this with like the textured background and stuff. So definitely a good piece, probably my favorite in the box. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, so now that we have went through the habitation box, I wanna show you some of the things that are my um, personal decor that I've had for quite some time now that I'm going to be using in the kitchen to give it that spring feel. So the first thing I wanna show you is this frame here. It is like a floral still life. It's so pretty. This is actually a thrifted piece that a friend gave me and I have used this I'm pretty sure every spring and summer and this is the first time I've used it in the kitchen and I really like how it turned out I've been like playing around with these things already and um, I love this one So this has kind of like some mauve colors in there some greens There's also a little bit of yellow in here, which I like and this is just a wooden frame So you guys know in my kitchen. I love implementing those wood elements. So this is probably our most earthy room if you will um we do have our blue kitchen cabinets we have lots of browns and wickers and wooden pieces and things like that in here and so this is a really good piece and then to pair with this i actually made this little arrangement here with some cosmos and this little like fern um from hobby lobby so actually everything here is from hobby lobby so i can probably link all of this down below um but anyway this little vase here i found on clarence at the beginning of the year actually and it was like I think I still have the tag on it yes it was 350 and it kind of has like a green tinted like metallic -y look to it I don't know again loving the earthly feel this one is super pretty and definitely fits the aesthetic that I'm going for and then I just popped in some flowers in here so this is a little fern pick from Hobby Lobby and then I also have some of those Cosmos these are so pretty I know these are very popular this year and I think last year as well but I understand why they're so beautiful but definitely a good little spring piece this is a um, Clarence find from Hobby Lobby from the beginning of the year I bought it the same day that I bought that little green vase and this one is so pretty so I love this picture with the handle I spent like $12 on this it is like a textured matte black kind of vase and then I just pop some florals in here so these are some variegated plants that I purchased from Hobby Lobby when these are half off they're like three dollars and fifty cents if you guys watched my dining room decorate with me, then you know I use these as the centerpiece on my dining room table and I love how they look. Just very like, I don't know, just whimsical, very lifelike, airy, you know, I love that feel. So anyway, we have those in here and then I also popped in some of these white flowers as well and they're just kind of spread out throughout here just to give it a very natural vibe. Um, and then to kind of like stabilize this and just make it look a little more complete. I have a wicker charger. This came from Hobby Lobby several years ago. Um, they keep always keep wicker chargers, as you guys know, in the spring shop line. And in the summer when everything goes like 75% off, you can find these super cheap. So I ended up getting this for like $2 several years ago. And I always like to use it as a base and just kind of make it more of a polished look. So I'm going to be adding this in the kitchen as well. But enough chatting, let's go ahead and start styling some of these pieces. 
First up, we're going to be starting over in this corner. So this is a corner that I love decorating every season. This is kind of my fun corner, if you will. I like to switch things up, but still make it very practical and beautiful for each season. So first, I'm going to be starting with some of my cookbooks, and I also have some bookends that I'm going to be placing to keep those standing up. And I also have a few other things. I have a lamp, I have some cutting boards, some wooden spoons, and a crock. Just your typical kitchen staples, but I like to try to make them very cohesive and look very pretty each season. Along to next to the kitchen sink. So like I had mentioned earlier, I'm going to be taking these pieces from the habitation box and styling them next to the sink. So I just have a hearth and hand soap dispenser that I'm going to be placing on top of this little bird bath. And then I also have a brush that I'm going to be sitting next to the sink as well. And then for the other look, I have the mini little wreath that I had that I'm going to be placing the soap dispenser in and just setting it on the actual sink. But you could very easily combine the two. You can place the wreath on top of the bird bath with the soap. Either way, it'd be super cute. But I think these are just very pretty pieces and very easy to style for spring. Next up, we are focusing on the side of our cabinets. So what we have here is a little kitchen towel rack. I purchased this from Amazon a while back along with the hooks as well. So I can have those linked down below for you guys. But each season, I like to layer in kitchen towels and pot holders and different things like that. And I also have a little staple piece. So for the staple piece in today's video, I am taking that little wicker basket that is lined and I'm placing some faux Cosmos in it to be cohesive with the ones that I have on the countertop. And I think this is just so pretty, very wispy looking and definitely a beautiful take for spring. Next up, we are going to be styling this little box. So like I had mentioned before, I think that this would be so cute in like a little coffee area or just a drink station in general in a kitchen. So I'm just going to be placing tea bags in here. You can also place Keurig pods and really anything along those lines if you are using it in a drink area. But I just think that this is so cute. Definitely a practical way to store things and also very pretty and just aesthetically pleasing when it comes to having a little drink station. last but not least we are going to be placing this large floral arrangement here next to the stove this is definitely a staple piece and it's something i like to change out each season all right you guys that is everything for today's video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new i would love to have you here in this space and be sure to hit that bell notification that way you're notified every time i post a video and one other thing let me know what was your favorite home decor piece in the habitation box i know that i had mentioned i love the big frame i also really like those baskets i think it looks so cute on the side of the kitchen cabinets and i love how the dish soap looked with the little bird bath and also the wreath as well super cute pieces i'm truly loving all those items and how the kitchen turned out for spring so thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned for much more spring decorating from me. Bye guys.